responsibility for me really means taking an action or a decision when the danger of failing is there or is even likely. And that's the tricky part. So how do we take this, this responsibility in these situations where we are really uncertain even about basic values, goals, which direction should we go, what holds all this together? Yeah. So that's the part where I feel that we need more responsibility, but also the way to use this responsibility to lead forward. So not only to warn, to protect uh, the environment, but also to take that into a proactive direction. And in that sense, I think, well, I'm sure as planners, we have wonderful tools, old tools, new tools, digital tools available to communicate, to organize, to bring all that together. Uh, what we sometimes miss is this ambitious long-term vision beyond the very broad agreement that yes, we want this to be sustainable, uh, but a bit below that. So what does it mean then for a bit more specifically, not just in one local pilot, but somewhere in the middle, middle ground. So we somewhere need this, these roles in which planners take this responsibility, including the danger of maybe I'm wrong, maybe I fail, uh, to use these broad ideas, ideals, international goals, and so on towards detailed actions at all scales. So not only in local neighborhood pilots, but also at national, regional scales. So where it's a bit restarting again, but I think that's especially important given the large challenges that we have. And do, it you also mean that, do you mean that they're not there? Um, or that are not positioned well. I'm, I'm thinking about, for instance, the work done by Wageningen University at the beginning of the year, end of last year, where they sort of imagined what the Netherlands could look like in, yeah, in the think, sort of future. I think that's exactly what I meant. We are really good at some of these imaginations that are broad, that are out there, and it's good for us to agree on that, but how do we take this responsibility to take it a step forward in all our individual actions. So I think in that sense, we still miss a bit of this piece. How do not, can, is, can we get beyond this, having these visions, agree on them, but also make them captivating enough for all different planners taking this vision really up in their day-to-day -day actions and not like the cherry picking from the SDGs, not like saying, okay, I'll do my work and that's SDG two. Um, but really internalizing that, having a captivating vision that, that somewhat changes mindset, changes actions across scales.